Yo, what's going on, guys? There's a disgusting Hecarim build that has taken over the meta, and it makes him absolutely unkillable. First item that you need to rush is Tear, otherwise you'll constantly be running out of mana. After that, you want to go for Ravenous Hydra. It's still incredibly strong on Hecarim, even after the nerfs. Then you need to go for Jack Show. Jack Show makes you incredibly tanky at a cheap cost. The longer you're in combat, the tankier you get with armor and magic resist, which is great. So you'll have full stack Jack Show, full stack Conqueror. You're unkillable and doing an insane amount of damage. Plus, with the combination of Blue Jungle Smite, since the green one's been turbo nerfed, you can run everybody down, and it also helps you to... Get your ghost extensions by kills and assists because if you can get one ghost extension in a fight odds are you're going to win that fight your worst matchups on hecarim are people who have hard point and click cc things like fiddlesticks maokai mordekaiser are with his r outside of that your toughest matchups are going to be against weird scalers like master yi because master yi could go toe to toe with the hecarim in the late game when very few champions can because your q is a helicopter spin perma spam once you're at three stack and yeah Overall, Hecarim's pretty good. Even against his worst matchups, he can usually get the advantage on them early game since his full clear gank is as efficient as it is. Very efficient. You pretty much always want to start on blue buff instead of red buff. Otherwise, you'll run out of mana in your first clear and you'll have to wait quite a bit more than you'd think. You'll literally run out of mana towards the end of it. While you're clearing, try to look around a bit to closest lane, see what's up. You also want to keep an eye on your Q stacks to make sure you're not dropping those. Q stacks puts your Q on a lower cooldown and also makes it do more damage. So we're at three full stack here. Bot lane's gankable, but you want to try to stick to the full clear. Hecarim's level six is extremely powerful and every additional level you can get is another level in your Q, which gives you an absurd amount of damage. Got it. We'll go double points in Q for a faster clear. We don't need a point in E unless we think we're going to be invaded. The E speed up is really nice for escaping and chasing people down. Otherwise, double point in Q is a little bit more efficient since your Q is a very low cooldown off of the triple Q stack. If you can keep up your Q triple stack up in a team fight, man, you can solo 80 carries while their supports are peeling for them. All sorts of crazy stuff. But if you don't have any Q stacks and you're going raw dogging on a team fight with a ghost in R, Hecarim's really not that good in that situation because you're missing out on your main source of damage. So if possible, try to have your Q full stack before you go into a fight. The same way Ajax ideally wants his passive stack before he goes into a fight. Whether you get that off of minions or champions or minions or monsters. We finished full clear 312 there. Try to get behind this guy. Smack him with Ghost. Because we need to secure this kill. We do not want him getting away. And now we'll stay for golden XP here. Because we need to crash this wave. He needs to just push it. I'm not trying to steal his minions. Stealing his minions is not the goal. It's crashing the wave, forcing him back to lane. Let's see if Scuttle's gone. Shaco did get it. Now he can back spend his gold to get all of his HP back. And meanwhile, Pantheon missed five or six minions. It's a lot. He's not even here yet. He might actually miss more than that. We'll pick up tier boots. That's pretty much it. We'll grab control ward. You don't want to rush Jack show first item because it doesn't give you any damage. It just allows you to survive perpetually. That's why you have to go for ravenous into Jack show. Then you typically get your mana moon. Then you'd usually go for spear of Shojin or for a black cleaver they're not very tanky so we probably won't even need black cleaver this game it is still a good item though because the mobility once you're in combat plus 30 ability haste is a lot i like to leave control words somewhat defensively so they can stay there the entirety of the game on champions like hecarim since you have so much mobility you don't usually have to have them laid offensively can i lay them hyper defensive for dives things like that even if someone knows you're coming or if they're playing semi-safe with the speed from your E, you can normally get on top of them. Always Q max and W max second. W per level gets a stupid amount of stats. More damage, lower cooldown, more armor and magic resist. Uh, more healing. <laughs> Does like five different things per level. Your E only gets a bit more damage. That's it. 
You can go over your wall with your E dash as long as you can see the enemy target, whether it's a minion or a monster. You can go straight over walls. If enemies are throwing lots of stuff at you, obviously use your W for the extra armor magic resist during its duration. They added that to Hecarim relatively recently, back in Season 12. And that's why you see him pretty much every game now. It's outrageously tanky. We have triple Q stack up. By the time we get to him, we might only have... So now we're back to three. I used it on the minion there. I'm gonna walk him down. Galio has nowhere to go. Q spam on him. I have tears, so I'm not running out of mana. I'm also full conqueror as well. Hit him with the R, push it back into minions. I'm getting mana back since I'm back in the jungle river area. 13 mana per second. Don't know where shake goes. I need to eat these fruits ASAP before I die. I have three stacks of Q. All right, we're chilling. Nice, 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 nice. So in ganks, if you think the enemy has a flash or a dash, if your E's on cooldown, don't stand still to auto attack. Just move with them and shred them with Q's. I was doing that to Pantheon there as he was running away. I stopped autoing and kept hitting him with Q's. That way we can go just as fast as him while still applying the majority of our damage output. Get some of this. And we'll use our E. To get around the map, you should use your E so you're not wasting time. Just don't put it on cooldown if you feel like you're about to have to fight somebody. Because if you use on cooldown, you're not going to have the mobility or CC to kill them. Down goes Aatrox. At least he has a CS lead. We see exactly where the Caitlyn is. She's kind of right there. You can't dual take camps anymore on Hecarim. You'd think that would matter a lot, but it really doesn't. It doesn't affect him that much. Even though he could comfortably take two camps before. Most notably Blue and Gromp. Through his Q AoE. A teammate seemingly want to back his versus low mana. Yumi's low mana. Mid lane looks semi gankable. TF is a low damage champion though. Might be able to pull it off. Galio only tier 1 boots. And he's also doesn't really have HP items. I'm a little nervous about getting Galio CC'd into Shaco jumping on me. They have a lot of burst damage, and right now I am not very tanky. As long as I get a big W. Right, right when they're throwing their stuff on me, if, if we get W down, we'll be fine. Last for four seconds. Galio's looking to rotate, or at least show up on Scuttlefy. TF doesn't have R, so there's no reason for us to fortify it here. To force one. Now we see Galio back mid. We see Shaco's over there. This guy's dead. Can pop Ghost early. It lasts for 10 seconds. I still have R to close distance. That's why you don't typically use your R and your... Uh, you don't typically want to use your R and your E at the same time if you don't have to. We could already get on top of him without burning R. That way, once he did blow his flash, we still had a tool to stay on top. Since Shaco was last seen bot side, we should be able to take this no problem, especially with their top laner dead. That being said, we should still pull it out since we can't escape over the wall. Like a Kindred or a Kha'Zix could. This is a safer spot to take it. We can choose where we want to go rather than being trapped. Nothing really happening on the map. I assume they're taking dragon, yeah. They got dragon. Herald for dragon is a pretty bad trade for season 13 because heralds are nerfed. What are you going to do though? It's on this side of the map. Check his top side. He might have something up. AP Shaco jungle clears really slow. And sure enough, he has seemingly everything up. Scuttle crabs up top side as well. Go ahead and smite this. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'll go ahead and hold on to ease and escape tool. Galio can get on top of me really fast if Shaco cues on me. Yeah, sure enough, there's the Shaco. You gotta put this, push this away from him. 
Shaco can't solo me here, I don't think. Yeah, he did very little damage. I don't think I have to R away. Okay, I, I do, but I don't have it. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I had R. I just don't, though. Holy crap, I almost died. I don't know why I thought I had R up. That was super dangerous. Might be able to go bot side. They're super low, and they probably thought, I think I backed the enemy team because I was so low. Whenever you finish the large monster in the camp, you get a tiny heal. He doesn't have Ignite. Might actually be able to win this. Yeah, I think I win this. Well, maybe not. Okay, I absolutely don't win that. He didn't have Ignite. Oh, he still wins it though. That's crazy. I should have just waited for Ravenous Hydra. Hecarim R Fear doesn't last very long if you use it at point blank range. It's only 0.75 instead of 1.5. Rip. Early Lucidity Rush is definitely good on Hecarim. We just can't afford it here. It's better to have a full item than tier 2s and a partial. Best place for us to take Carol would be top side to get first turret bonus gold. Plus, if Shaco shows up, we could easily win that 2v2. Aatrox fed, so am I. Gotta show up to every single dragon. Hecarim isn't much of a split pusher. He's a, He scales into team fights generally. To where having Dragon Soul makes his win con uh, pretty easy. But if you don't have Drag Soul, then you don't really have a win con at that point. Look at the flank on this guy. I'm way closer to finishing my jungle item than uh, Shaco is on his. I'm going to ghost for this. Hey, friend. Pantheon got a fat heal. Galio has some items, but I have Conquer and he doesn't, so. He's dead. He took too much damage and I was full stack conk, which is a lot of extra self-healing and also AD. Plus I had three stacks on Q. He probably thought he could fight us because he killed us last time, but I didn't have Ravenous last time. And I probably didn't have the triple stack on pass on Q passive either. Save for okay, Shaco's bot side. I didn't need to waste Oracles there. I turned on W for the extra armor. We'll go ahead. Ah. All right, all are away. It's not worth it. That fight could very well turn against me. I was missing too much HP. A lot of times when you help your laners push lane, they'll end up trying to steal your stuff. I'd say it happens a third of the time when they don't realize you're doing them a massive favor. Like after we ganked top and killed his laner, and then we helped him shove wave when Aatrox was had to reset anyways because he was low HP. I think he was mad because he stopped moving and was seemingly typing, but I couldn't see him typing because when I play jungle, I mute my teammates. Jungle is a strange position in that aspect where you're the jungler, but simultaneously everyone on your team acts like they know how to do your job better than you do. It's a very weird thing. Let's go for... Yeah, we'll go Lucid's here. It'd be like if you called a plumber over to fix your sink or something, and then the whole time you're coaching him how to do it. It's like, why'd you... Like, why didn't you just do it then? <laughs> why didn't you Q jungle? I think Shaco got my blue buff. Yeah, you got it. Not a huge deal. I don't think AP Shaco jungle is very viable right now. If you, As long as you don't chase him in a box after box, he can't really match ganks, and his clear speed's not fast either. Aatrox is up super far. They're probably on dragon right now. That sucks. It's probably gone. Yep. Big surprise. We don't have any bot prio. Zero bot vision all the time. I guess we can play double herald. Try to end early. Hey, Galio. 
Yeah, I'm coming with you, buddy. You're slowed. And I'm fast. I have full stack conqueror. Full stack Q. I still have R to get her if she flashes. At least I was about to be able to. Taking a lot of damage here. Holy moly. Getting shredded. Ravenous Hydra is full stacked. It's giving an additional 20 AD. It's 85 total AD at the moment. Jungle items finished now, so every time we touch a brush, we go giga fast. Which is particularly good for Akram, because the faster you are, the more AD your passive gives you. Plus, if anyone's ever chasing you, no matter how fast they are, they're probably not going to be able to kill you. I'll go ahead and ghost for this. Touch a brush into E. In hindsight, I didn't need to. I didn't realize uh, someone was TPing here. Oh, well. Even though they have dragons, they can't really fight us. As long as I don't throw shutdown gold, I think we're good to go. Really need to start getting these dragons, though. Once you're ahead on any jungler, including Hecarim, you can try to play in the enemy's jungle as much as possible. Just make sure you're not going to get yourself killed. So from here on out, we could probably just get away with being inside this dude's jungle. Galio's rotating. Aatrox is dead. I don't know why he thought he could fight that. Even 1v2, I don't think he wins that. Pantheon had Eclipse. Shaco's a full item as well, so he didn't even really have an item advantage. I think they're watching me right now. This is probably someone in that brush watching me. There's the Galio. Let's E to touch the brush. Get the blue jungle item movement speed bonus into R. And we're living. Thank goodness. I did not want to die there. Galio still had flash. If I didn't use R, I wasn't going to be able to get to him before the E ended. So I had to use R to do extend E duration and to also close the distance. Enemies are laying Herald topside. There's nothing for me to do on the map. My ghost is down. R is down. There's no dragons, heralds, no outer turret for me to take. So at the moment, we could have pushed bot wave or gone in for basically a full clear on our own jungle while Shaco's camps are down. Which is why you see I have about double his CS at the moment. It's going to make it very challenging for them to get any more dragons from this point forward. His top side. This is a really weird chase. I could just stay on the map and take his camps. I don't really have to back. I'll go ahead and push mid and see if his raptors come up here. Because his Krugs are up in theory. As long as Caitlyn didn't go steal them. They're all kind of top side. I can't get there in time. Three top, two dead. We're free to take turrets. You would normally want to be grouped with your team. It's just that fight's happening so far away, and they're not fighting over any objective. There's no dragon, Baron, Herald over there, no turret. So the second I show up, the enemies are going to simply run away. Pantheon's the only one left alive. No reason to chase a kill. We already have the gold advantage. Gold advantage is what enables you to safely take objectives. Gold advantage isn't for the sake of obtaining a larger gold advantage perpetually. Especially as the game goes longer and longer, everyone catches up in items. Got him. He does basically zero damage to me. Got my W on for the armor magic resist. And they quit. All right, we'll go ahead and do a part two because they quit too soon, pre-25. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. This time we're up against a Scion jungle. Bit of an off-meta pick. He does have a lot of extra damage on his Q against jungle monsters to where he can do full HP 315 full clears. Scion jungle's main issue is he doesn't have very good gank tools in terms of mobility. Pre-6, zero speed ups, zero dashes in his kit. All we're doing right now is watching our opposite side. I'm gonna start on blue buff so we don't run out of mana. Start key with blue jungle item, conquer, triumph, tenacity, last stand with nimbus celerity, attack speed 80, and armor. They have a really strong scaling bot lane outside of that. I think we outscale them for sure. 
Got our ward down. I said pref leash. So he doesn't have to leash, just if he doesn't need to get the lane early anyways. He's up against Warwick top. Right now, Warwick top is extremely common. Iron through plat. His win rate is super, super high. Jack show Warwick. Borken to Jack show is kind of crazy. Played some of it myself. I don't think Mord should have many issues. I think Mord will do fine into that matchup. I don't think he really wants to leash, but I mean, it is what it is. He gets a speed up from being on his passive, so he kind of gets to lane faster to where it's not all for nothing. That leash was kind of insane. Could have definitely smited that. That way it didn't take as long. We'll smite that nice and early, pull it to us a little bit. See how top lane's going. And he can't trade with Warwick too well level one, I don't think. The lethal tempo difference is gonna be sizable. I really is gonna be the most gankable lane for sure. As long as she's pushing. She won't have a very good escape tool versus us. They've increased the uh, patience range of the monster camps by quite a bit. I think they're going to have to change it, though, because Fiddlesticks can dual take a lot of camps now because of that. Get another point in Q and continue the full clear. I don't feel like ganking level 3. It's much safer to play for level 4 instead. That way we can get double points in Q as well. Faster clears. She's level 3, he's only level 2. Got to be disciplined. Don't force a bad gank. I, the gank, we would probably just get her flash in that situation when Talon was level 2 is the thing. And ganking and di disrupting your uh, full clear to just get a flash isn't worth it in a solo queue environment. Because if you have lots of situations to get legitimate kills and not just a flash to where there's no reason for us to throw off our own tempo. So we just finished 311 just about. Full cleared it. Swain Claw on cooldown. These guys are probably going to play up because of it. Let's see if this is worded. Oh, ghost. Got to get behind her. Swain completely whipped his claw. It is what it is. I got Jinx Flash. I might have also gotten her heal. Looks like Scion's top side there. Can keep up my Q stacks. Pushing the Scion. He actually didn't do a full clear. I wonder what happened. He stopped his clear early for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. His shield's running out. I have triple Q stacks up. They shouldn't probably shouldn't fight me here. Just gotta focus the Irelia. Scion does his knockup. I'm getting creep blocked a little bit, so I can't really stay on top of him. Not bad. Irelia's thought process there was lacking. The fact that we had triple Q stacks up to where we could perma Q spam there. Plus we had red buff. So even though she has a D blade and we don't really have an item to interact with her. It still turned out okay for us. I'm already here on top of Gromp with some Q already stacked up. So I might as well just stay and take this. Might as well. And then we'll look for a reset. We can probably get uh, Lucid's and Tear in the same back. That would be pretty sick. I think I got a... Wait, can I afford that right now? 950. Yeah, I think I could actually go back and get that right now. Ping out the Scion. That really is Scion's main issue, dude. There's zero mobility on that champ. With Jackshow, we'll realistically be tankier than him in a team fight because all of our self-healing. Bane gets the kill. She's Ooh, she might actually live. We'll see. Pick up a control word as well. Psych. Couldn't buy it in time. <laughs> I failed the click. It's not worth walking back to base for control ward early as a jungler if you weren't able to buy it. Scion's super, super, super low. Swain's out of mana. I can push into Scion's Raptors here. He's going to reset. I can maintain Q stacks as I cross over. Is Renata really going to stay here? That's incredible. She's actually kind of staying, but now she's backing off. I'm glad I didn't go over there. Irelia is pushing up. Now she's walking off to the side to ward. Also, some XP over the wall. I want to hit an early level six. 
This is kind of scummy what I'm doing, but I'm about to camp his lane anyway, so he won't even need six. I'll camp mid bot from this position. Looks like Irelia reset, so he still hit six before her anyways, or she just backed off altogether. Jinx only tier one boots. She doesn't have fleet. It's just lethal tempo. Hey, Jinx. Push her towards my vein. That vein condemn was kind of poop. Down she goes. Nice, nice, nice. Take dragon off that. Can, I can go over this wall. I just need vision of him. There it is. We cancel his Q. Hey, Renata. Don't feel like fighting Scion here. My bot lane's pushing slowly but surely. When I say slowly, I mean like really slowly. I'm getting some mana back. I need something though for my teammates. Absolutely nothing out of the town. Holy crap, you just watched me die. Yeah, that's really something. I guess we know not to play for the town. He gets really scared. But then once we're dead, he says, you know what? Now that Hecram's dead, maybe I have a better chance because that's how League of Legends works. <laughs> All right, let's get Ravenous. So peep, they get scared and then when they realize they should have gone in, then they go back in to make you feel like they didn't leave you when in reality, he panicked. He just jumped super far out of the fight. Happens. We hit a really early level six. We hit it around six minute mark because it's 750 now. I art a really, really long time ago. Don't really want to gank Warwick. He's not easy to gank. He's so much self healing and damage reduction on his E. He'll get baited out, especially if you try to dive him. Almost never works out well for you. R is up. It's time to look for a gank. There's nothing mid. She's underneath turret. Nothing top is underneath turret. If they're going to be underneath turret, they have to be really low HP to make it work. She's missing a little bit of health now, but she's still underneath her turret. Alright, yeah, I'm not going to help Talon. It's not worth it. He's also down a lot of CS. That's usually a good sign. Your laner is outclassed a little bit. Especially in this situation, zero deaths. And he's that far behind in CS. When I really has two deaths. It's not just that, oh, he's been roaming, so he's down CS. She literally has two deaths. And she's up CS when he has zero deaths. It's not a particularly good sign to camp for somebody like that. Because they're just going to end up getting soloed anyways. Just checking the brush, make sure Cyan doesn't find anything. Walk behind him, we can perma Q spam. He doesn't really have a way of landing a skill shot in this situation. He is getting off a lot of grasp though. Grasp isn't enough, I suppose. Grasp isn't a horrible jungle keystone. For Scion or kind of for Jarvan, I've seen it work. The main issue is Scion doesn't have a good jungle keystone. It's basically Predator, Phase Rush, and that's kind of it. There's nothing else that feels really good on him. And even those, they feel kind of awkward. I might actually be able to kill her here. I have triple Q stacked. Down she goes. Jinx panicked, ran though a bit. Hey, Renata. Yeah, Jinx panicked so hard. She thought she was going to live or something. I'm on ghost extensions here. I can run away. I still don't know if they would have been able to kill me. I guess with Jinx landing her R at that point. Because we are moving really fast. And she's only tier 1s when we're on ghost and tier 2 boots. It's about time to reset. Right when we can afford Ravenous Hydra, it'd be a really good time.
Warwick has gotten a solo kill topside. He's tied CS. Their team is way too jinx reliant to carry. If you're running a comp that's completely dependent on one person to pull the weight. In a solo queue environment, it's just too risky. For example, if your team's full AP except for the AD carry, if they don't know what they're doing, it's pretty much a guaranteed loss. Jinx is probably one of the weaker players on their team as well. I rally is mid, killing my Talon. Talon's one full item, she's one full item. In theory, the gank should work. Dash to the minion to get to her, red buff auto to slow. Talon's just not really following up at all. Big surprise. We kind of knew that was going to be the case. It's fine. It's time to reset. Get Ravenous Hydra. Unless the enemies stay. If the enemies stay, I'll go kill them. They back off. Okay, it's a good time to reset. Ravenous, we'll use E out of base. Blue buff's coming up. Herald's up. We'll play top side for now. To give you some perspective, Talon's about the same CS as Jinx, and Talon's very fed with only one death. Typically, the most fed person on the team also has the most CS, because if you're alive, you can take minions or the monsters faster. And as you roam, usually you're able to absorb a lot of resources. I think I can solo Warwick here, as long as I have triple Q stacked up. Let's see. I think he still has his R. He might actually be able to turn on me here if he really wanted to. Hey, he tried it. Didn't quite pan out. He's, he's not a full item. Warwick's fairly Bork reliant. Oh my goodness. I gotta get out of here. Sion doesn't even have boots yet. He's super slow. I'm gonna head over for that wave and get that pushed. Maybe entice them to grab that instead. Looks like Talon gets away. I gotta heal up. Warwick has blood sent on me. R is down. Ghost is up. Look at that healing, dude. Ravenous Hydra is a giga balanced. I'm on Ghost and E. We'll run behind her, push her into our teammate. And it's not enough. Oh well. She gets the shutdown. That sucks. I'll stay for the wave. Since your E does give you extra AD, if you don't have to use it early, don't. We got off a Q or two, and we were able to push her where we wanted to because we were patient and used the full duration of the E rather than just half of it. I'll go for Warwick. He doesn't have R. Getting a bunch of mana back. 15 per second since we're low mana and we're in the jungle. The jungle item. Oh no. Warwick just got that solo. He's doing a lot of damage. Not quite enough. See, when Bo once Warwick gets his Bork, it's actually really, really strong. The da damage output starts to get kind of crazy. Every auto Q and R he puts out, Bork will apply. He's putting out a lot of autos. Now we have 33 mana back per second, 35. Quite a bit. Basically getting a free Q every second. Q's costing 30 mana at the moment. We get the speed up from killing monster since we have full jungle item. They should have baited that since Renato was there. I would have 100% died. I rarely have panicked. I can touch bush for speed up here, I think. Just got to make it to the brush. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't really think Jinx was coming over here. Holy crap. What in the world? The Jinx gets to rotate like that. My goodness. Sheesh. That was going to be a 1v2, not a 1v3. I'm just trying to heal up a little bit. 
Got to heal up off of something here. Didn't look like Bane was too happy for me to be there towards her minions. We'll smite it while we have W on to maximize healing. Super low HP. And look at that. Back to full health. I think we're going to be able to get a Jack Show before these guys FF. People don't usually like to FF with the Jinx on their team with a tank. Bane's the perfect AD carry for killing tanks, though. Incredibly good at it. Heck, she's killing their whole team. Lethal Tempo Vein is incredibly balanced. After Dragon and maybe one more camp, we can afford Jack Show. It's only 3,000 gold. I really has a lot of CS. She has... As much as me, and she has five deaths. Touching the bushes to go fast. Now we need to be in his jungle as much as possible. Soak his resources. It's really safe to do once you have your blue jungle item finished. Every time we step in a brush, we go extremely fast. Not really sure where these guys are. They're kind of hiding. Let's pull it into brush so they don't know. They don't see what our HP looks like. I really find another solo kill. That's not good. It really has a lot of shred potential. Find a big R, push him into our teammates. Luckily, he didn't R me, he R'd Talon. Push him into my teammate. And there we go. Ooh. I need to keep Q up off of something. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. Oh, this is bad. That speed up just saved me. Holy crap. But I rarely get a double kill out of it. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> she has Jack Show, dude. That's the meta. Now you guys know the secret. Jack show on any champion second item rush is kind of crazy. On any melee champ that's going to be in the thick of the fight. Shredding and betting. She has more gold spent than me because I'm sitting on a lot of gold. Probably going to rotate for me right now. Oh, no, she's not. It's a little surprising, actually. Guess I'll take this for free and then we can back for Jack show. Go Mana Moon into Shoujun. Or Death Stance or Black Cleaver at that point. Yeah, I don't want to fight that. That's a bad fight. I need Jack Show. I'm sitting on 4k gold. You almost never want to be sitting on this much gold. It's only okay if you can still solo pretty much everyone in the game. But right now I can't, so it's time to back. We can't solo Irelia, and soloing Warwick isn't easy. When he has just as much items as we do. We'd have to do a really good job of kiting him out. Going into the fight probably a three stack Q to begin with. And preferably having Smite slow him down. Because Hecarim Q is a lot of range. Hecarim Q is about a Thresh auto attack that you can perma spam once it's stacked. I touch the bush going fast. Ugh, I don't know. This is... This is, this is like bad. I can't move, dude. I can't move, bro. CC'd for four seconds. Holy crap. Four seconds of not moving with zero Q stacks. Holy moly. Jack Show makes it to her low, like, low damage champions or damage over time champs like Swain. He's doing nothing to Irelia. It's hard to shred Jack show over a long period of time with a low damage champ. Talon gets the wall jump. It's kind of crazy how fast I really's attack speed is with just Conqueror. Vayne runs into the stun and she still gets the kill. Very cool. I need to get back into CSing here. I really has a level advantage and more CS.
I think we would have won that last fight if my teammates didn't kite away from me. As I was coming up, my teammates kept pushing left. And on top of that, I wasn't able to stack up Q for the, um, the individual aspects of that fight were kind of against us there. You see the Q cooldown. It's kind of ridiculous. My wolves are down. I'm going to lose all my Q stacks. Oh well. Can go in and out of the brush to keep up our attack damage from passive. Because it doesn't have a cooldown. It's just about after you enter brush for the next second and a half, you get a big movement speed bonus. Don't mind if I do. They're all kind of playing topside. I can be over here for dragon with my Q already stacked up. On entering bushes or killing a uh, large monster, you get the movement speed bonus from it. I wish it was from killing champions as well. That'd be a really nice movement speed perk. No one wants to fight me other than Irelia. They're staying away from us for the most part. Don't do it, Vayne. Don't do it. Oh, she's low. I didn't realize how low on health Vayne really was there. Now, what are you going to do, Warwick? What are you going to do, boy? Talon was, I was almost there in time to kill still me. I got some ghost extensions off that. Kind of forgot I even had Harold. It's kind of funny. Totally forgot. Push him into my town, right as E's about to end. I can kill the Jinx. Got the turret down with the Herald, and now it's Q spam mania. I realize he's not over here. So now everybody dies. Everybody dies. Sion keeps coming back from the dead. <laughs> His passive plus uh, her ability. Yeah, that's the power of uh, Jack Show, though. You're super tanky. I have my uh, Jack Show and Conquer both stacked. Warwick has going to have his Lethal Temple full stacked here. I gotta leave. I can't fight them underneath two turrets. It's not going to work. Get our mana moon here in a moment and they quit. <laughs> this build snowballs pretty hard and it's extremely common for people to quit early against it. But regardless, it's still really strong and really fun and I highly recommend it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.